we were asked to factor the expression 20x squared minus 13x minus 72. In a previous lesson, we discussed three possible methods for factoring a trinomial in this form, which is the form ax squared plus bx plus c, with a not equal to one, and no common factor other than one. Notice for the given trinomial, a is equal to 20, b is equal to negative 13, and c is equal to negative 72. The methods of factor by grouping and bottoms up require using the factors of a times c, and notice for this trinomial, a times c is equal to 20 times negative 72, which equals negative 1,440. As the absolute value of a times c gets larger and larger, the methods of factor by grouping and bottoms up get more and more complicated, and therefore for this trinomial, we will only use the method of trial and error. Let's do this on the next slide. Remember, the first step in any factoring problem is to factor out the greatest common factor, but here the only common factor is one, and therefore, if this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. The first step is to place the factors of ax squared in the first positions of the two binomial factors. Because ax squared is 20x squared, we need to consider the factors of 4x and 5x, 2x and 10x, as well as x and 20x. But normally we use the factors where the coefficients are closest together, and therefore in this case, let's use 4x and 5x. This is not always the case, but let's start with this. The next step is to place the factors of c, which in this case is negative 72, into the second positions of the binomial factors, such that the sum of the inner and outer product gives us negative 13x, the middle term. And again, there are quite a few factors of negative 72, but we will use the factors of negative 72 where the absolute values are closest together. Let's focus on the factors of negative nine and positive eight, as well as negative eight and positive nine. When placing these factors in the binomial factors, keep in mind the binomial factors cannot have a common factor other than one, because if they did, the original trinomial would have also had a common factor other than one, which we already checked didn't. Which means we would never use a plus eight or minus eight in this binomial factor, because then the binomial factor would have a common factor of four. Let's begin by using the factors of negative eight and positive nine, and we know the minus eight is not going to be in this binomial factor, so let's put the minus eight in this binomial factor and the plus nine in this binomial factor. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer product. Notice how the inner product is 45x, so we have 45x plus, the outer product is negative 32x, and 45x plus negative 32x is equal to 13x, and we want negative 13x. So notice we have the wrong sign or the terms are opposites, and this is an easy fix. We simply change the sign of the factors, which means we change the plus nine to minus nine, and we change the minus eight to plus eight. And let's go ahead and check the sum of the inner and outer product again. The inner product is now negative 45x plus the outer product is 32x, which knows how it does give us negative 13x, which is what we want. So now we know the trinomial is factored correctly using the method of trial and error. We have a factor of 4x minus nine, and we have a factor of 5x plus eight. I hope you found this helpful.